Javier Builds a Bridge. Chapter 3. An Idea. Sulking in my room, I heard the four grown-ups talking in low voices. Were they talking about me? I crept down the hallway to listen. Louisa saw me when I passed her room. Play with me, she asked. I definitely was not in the mood to play with her. She pointed to the blocks in front of her. Look, a road and buildings and a lake. Her road had stopped at the lake. What she needed, of course, was a bridge to get over it. One of the rectangle blocks would do, I sighed. I was tired of bridges. <gasps> hey, wait a second. The idea came to me like the sun breaking out after a storm. I picked up some of the blocks. I'll be right back, Louisa, okay? I called as I dashed to the kitchen to share my idea. We don't have to tear down the bridge, I announced. I could make it a safer one instead. Mama put down a hand on her hip and opened her mouth to speak, but Joe's voice broke in. What a good idea, he said. How come I didn't think of that? With the right technology, I'm sure we can solve this problem. I was hoping Joe would like my idea. Joe is a civil engineer. Engineers design things or ways of getting stuff done using what they know about science, math, and creative thinking. Joe helps design big structures, such as dams, roads, and buildings. He taught me that all of those structures and any other things or processes that people design to solve problems are technology. That sounds like an awfully difficult project, Javi, Abuelita said. Abuelito put one of his big tanned hands on my shoulder. But this is an awfully smart grandson we have. Tell us what you have in mind. Well, I said, the bridge we have now is made of planks of wood and rope. It's really wobbly. That's why we lost our balance. We need a bridge that's sturdy. Yeah, Joe added, scratching his head. You need something nice and stable, something that can't be knocked off balance when you walk on it or shift your weight. This'll be easy, I said. Look, I'll show you.